but to know vividly what exactly those sermons mean or what it pertains, we didn't know. And Sunday service to you don't have the chance to ask anybody question. So that is how my life was. So I grew up to a certain age. My name is Mary. <clears throat> I come from Ghana in the West Africa. Okay. And this is my salvation journey. Let me tell you a little bit about the religion in Ghana. Ghana, we have various religious groups or religions we have Christianity we have the Islam Buddhist fetish voodoo and all sorts of religious groups but I was born from a Christian family So God said, let there be, and there was. Now listen, if God said, let there be, and there was, we have the same capacity and the ability to say that which God has said, to come to be, and it will come to pass. In my family, we have, I have about seven siblings, I would say I was the last but one and I came to realize that all my siblings were baptized before the age of four years. So all that we know was what we heard from our parents. You were baptized in this particular church. Being so young, we know nothing about baptism. All I know or we know was you are baptized. And for that matter, you are a Christian. But knowing much about Christianity, we do not know. Or I would say I didn't know. My family are Christians. They made us go to church every Sunday. And every Saturday we went for Bible classes. They taught us a lot to the extent that we could even recite it like poems. If you mention the verse, we know what was there. But we didn't know into detail what we were talking about or what we were reading. But the fact that we are able to recite it, we know we've done well. And as a matter of fact, that helped me. It has helped me so much. But to know vividly what exactly those sermons mean or what it pertains, we didn't know. And Sunday service to you don't have the chance to ask anybody question. So that is how my life was. So, I grew up to a certain age. As I started reading the Bible, I came across a part that says that Jesus Christ was baptized by immersion. So I did ask my parents, what does that mean? And I was told he was submerged in water and was brought up. But my baptism based on the church that we were attending, it was done by sprinkling of water. It still didn't set in for me because of what I have read. 
I was yearning to get the same baptism as Jesus got. Where do I get this? I do not know. In my neighborhood, churches from other religious groups, let me say Christians, have been coming to have service there. It isn't always, but once in a while, they come to this park to have service in the evening when people have closed from work. So I went there to also observe or see what was going on. So the Lord said, Arise, shine, for your light has come. When there was light, there was a revelation. Amen. And then, in the preaching I heard about being baptized by immersion, the image, as no, it symbolizes immersing your sins and then coming out as a new creation. This that I heard reminded me of what I read in the Bible about Jesus Christ that he was baptized by John the Baptist in the river Jordan. And I was wondering why my baptism was sprinkling. And I was yearning to have this same baptism Jesus had. If that can be done, then I would prefer that to sprinkling of water on the head. It came to a time that I followed a friend to a church and I enjoyed the preaching so much. I understood it. Even the sermons I have been reciting, they explain it to a point that I have never thought of. So in the church I told my friend, I would like to be a member here. And she told me, let me talk to one of the elders for you. So after church, she spoke to one of the elders who was so happy that I wanted to be a member. This church that I was talking about, is a very big church. So the membership classes have been divided into neighborhoods. So I attended the one in my neighborhood. And this took for about six weeks. After the six weeks, then you will become a member. You will be baptized, and now you are a member of the church. I enjoyed it because I learned a lot in this membership class. They made us know what baptism is by immersion, meaning you are going to be submerged in water, submerge your sins in the water, and then come out as a new creation. I love it. They made us know who the Lord is, believe in the Lord, Jesus Christ, and you will be saved. Confess with your mouth that he is Lord and believe in your heart. If you are able to do this, you will have internal life. Jesus is the only way to the Father and to heaven. I said I can't wait to be baptized. I gave my name and I was baptized the next baptism day by immersion. And since then I've been living or working on my salvation. Because when I look at myself, how I was prior to me attending that is different. Initially, I 
couldn't keep quiet when somebody wronged me. I felt I should reply you and put you in your position before I will feel okay. If I do not tell you and I leave, it's like you have rather hurt me because that will be on my mind. It will be worrying me till I tell you something. I tell you my peace of mind, then I felt okay. That was exactly who I was. And those who knew me prior to that know there has been a change. But those who just came to know me after the tra transformation thought that is how I have been for long. So this has helped me because I do not know where that would have led me. People call me the quiet girl then. And that has been my attitude till now. I don't speak quickly. I think so much before I utter a word. That was not by my strength. Not by my power. It's by the power of Jesus. Because I know sometimes it's bad to do that. But was I able to change myself? No. So I try and I'm still trying to walk the steps Jesus walked. Hmm. My journey right now, I'll say I am trying to do my best. My life changed when I knew the Lord so much so that I decided to make sure my children also know the Lord. I don't want, didn't want them to just be walking, going here and there, just come and sleep. But they should always have Jesus as their focus. And Truly, the Lord didn't shame me. They are all following the Lord. When I sleep, I sleep. I don't sleep and be thinking about where my child is. I do not sleep and think somebody will come and knock the door and tell me, your child has done this, has done that. And if you are a mother and you have children like that, it is a huge blessing from the Lord because this can even kill you. So that is a big, a huge favor that the Lord has done for me. And I believe he listened to my prayer and grant me this. This is more than millions of money. And I pray they continue to walk the way they walk in. Always remember that Jesus is Lord. <laughs>